Let's play a game using the coordinate plane. It's called Foursquare. And this is a competitive game played with two players. But if you have more than two players, you can form teams. To play this game, you will need the Foursquare game board, two different color markers or crayons, and three dice, or the digital dice available on the website. Let's learn how to play. In this game, it's the red team against the blue team. To begin the game, one team will roll the three dice. In this example, the red team rolled a 2, a 4, and a 6. They can combine any of these dice to form an ordered pair. They can create six different ordered pairs from these three dice. Let's help the red team find all of the different possibilities. We can put the 2 in the x position and form the coordinate 2, 4 and 2, 6. We can put the 4 in the x position to form the ordered pair 4, 2 and note that is different than 2, 4. We can also form the ordered pair 4, 6. And using the 6 in the x position, we can make the points 6, 2 and 6, 4. The red team will need to choose one of these ordered pairs. Let's say they choose the point 2, 4. They will use a red marker to mark the point 2, 4 on the game board. 2 along the x-axis and up 4. And now it's the blue team's turn. They will start by rolling the dice and then figuring out which ordered pair to use. Because the red team already put a dot at the point 2, 4, the blue team cannot use that coordinate. The blue team chose to use the point 1, 2, and using the blue marker, they will mark that location on the game board. And now back to red. On the red team's turn, they rolled these three dice. Only three different combinations of ordered pairs can be made from pairing up these dice. They include 4, 1, 4, 4, and 1, 4. The red team has an important decision to make. Which of these ordered pairs should they use? Well, in making that decision, they must consider the objective of the game. The objective in Foursquare is to connect four points in order to create a square that is one unit on each side. So which of these ordered pairs do you think the red team should choose? The point 1, 4 is right next to the previous point on the game board. So the red team uses their marker to mark that location. If two points of the same color are next to each other on the game board, you can connect them with a line. If four of your points connect to form a square, shade the square in. In order to shade it in, all four of those points must be the same color. If you roll the dice and all the possible ordered pairs are already taken, like in this example for the blue team, then fill in one of the circles at the top of the board. Continue taking turns trying to make as many squares as possible. The game ends when all three circles at the top of the board are filled out. Now this game is over. Let's count the number of squares that each team made to determine the winner. In this example, blue wins. But that's okay, Red. You'll get them next time. And now you're ready to play Foursquare.